a girl who's unable to access education continues the cycle of poverty in their families. Usually they are married off very early at say 13, 14, 15 years and then they have children at a very early age and then they have many children that they are unable to take care of. They usually have to be very dependent on their husband's families and they do not usually have a voice in decision making because they do not have much that they bring into the family. So they then continue that cycle of poverty which they themselves were brought into and that becomes a vicious cycle. Prospera was only 16 when she dropped out of school because her mother couldn't afford her fees. At that moment, I think she felt there was no hope and that her life was going to be just menial labor, extreme poverty and having to depend on others. This could have been my story. My name is Pearl Niki Kwamen. I'm a university student and I'm the chairperson for Carmen Fantman. Kama is a movement of women all across Africa committed to plowing back the benefit of their education into their communities. Kama is a network that provides peer support to all the girls that have um, been to school through campus support. This network is a very unique network and provides them with that support to make transitions into the next phase of their lives. Good morning everyone. Good morning. I joined Karma when I completed senior high school in 2014 and I also became a learner guide and being a learner guide turned my life around. Through the learner guides program we as Karma are able to address the issues of students in my community and across Ghana. The Learner Guides program motivated me to do more in my community to support vulnerable children, people in my community. Some of the big issues facing the young people in my community are teenage pregnancy, um, school dropouts and early marriage. Through the Ghana Education Service, um, traditional leaders, uh, schools and other community stakeholders, we set up sensitization programs to advise, to support, um, to give guidance to our members and other vulnerable groups on how they should tackle issues they are facing. Okay. So we'll be here tomorrow and um, uh, we want the uh, participants to come uh, with, with energy, that energy, that zeal to learn. That is all that they have to come with because we are coming with everything needed for the training to be successful. We work with community stakeholders to help us identify people in need so we provide them with trainings like the financial literacy, entrepreneurship trainings, um, reproductive health education to help them make healthier choices and to live a secured financial future. When we find children who are at risk of dropping out of school, we rally support from the communities and assist them with the needed materials or supports that they need. Prospera had been missing from school for almost a year when my other Karma sisters and I found her. So we supported her with basic educational materials and paid her enrollment fees. Now Prospera is back in school. She's a prefect and she's having her finals and she's doing very well. The Karma effect is the effect that Kama members are having on their communities. A young girl who has access to education has access to opportunities and that gives her the opportunity to lift herself and her family out of poverty, bringing about change for girls and young women in their communities. We are in this world together and we all need each other at some point in life and so we should be there to help one another to make the world a better place.